So my friends tend to be too kind sometimes. They know I work on computers and you know do all that type of repair stuff and then when they find junk or their old junk they throw it out and that's cool because a lot of the times I can repurpose it, extra parts and all that good stuff, but sometimes, um, yeah, my friends, they're a little too kind. Case in point, laptops. So now laptops, videos on the channel are just hit or miss, but I figure I'd turn the camera on and just record what I do with them. But also, he threw in this one, and this one is kind of cool looking. And cool looking stuff, you know, I like to tinker with it. So this one, um, I'm just kind of looking at it right now, but it's an M4500 has a Core i7V Pro, Windows 7, so maybe it works. I guess we'll find out. Now these, um, I don't know. So now the thing, one of the things I do uh, keep in mind with laptops is I take them because typically they'll have a Windows activation key, and yeah, those are worth their weight. It's like, what, 10 to $20 if you save money uh, buying it on those websites, CD key, whatever who they are. But old computers, one of the reasons why I keep them, Windows key, folks. See an old computer, grab it. That Windows key, that saves you a couple of dollars, you know? So let's take a look at this one. I mean, this is not gonna be in depth on these two, but this one, Windows 8 Action. Looked it up on the Dell website. So it's the Inspiron 3521. Um, Intel third gen, Pentium dual core second gen. So I think this one is the Pentium. Yeah, it's the Intel Pentium. Um, if this was like an i5 third gen, I would actually put an SSD in it, maybe max out the memory, because I do keep uh, DDR3 memory, max it out to like, uh, what, 16 gigs, I think you could put in there, eight gigs, just depending on the model. And uh, really for like $20 for the SSD, because I'll put 120 gig in there, I could sell this easy for 100 bucks. But I don't like selling the Pentium dual cores, I just, or even Celerons, they lag, so. Uh, I think this one is going into the parts pile, so let's get this stripped up real quick and just snag up the memory. Looks like somebody was in here. Maybe they took out the drives. Yeah. They removed the drives, which is fine. Mechanical drives are just, you know, not ideal. Well, it's not that they're ideal. They're just really not worth keeping most of the time, unless they're high capacity. This is PNY memory. I'm sure it's DDR, maybe it's 2-4 gigs, doubt it's 2-8 gigs, but regardless, good to have. Other than that, there's nothing else to really clean. Sometimes I'll keep these old batteries, if they come out easily, like this one. I'll take a multimeter to it, make sure it still has the correct voltage, and I mean, a penny saved is a penny earned, I think it is. But other than that, I mean, I really don't have no value for it, so... Um, I'll scrap it out. I know people you could run Linux and retro, but this one is not in the place where I would run a re retro Linux. I don't know. I mean Really no purpose for it. And also I don't have the charger. So yeah Trash heap in the garbage. You shall go. This one is the HP. What flavor do we got? The A8s, which I do not like those series. Windows 7 um, does have an activation. So, side note, funny story. When I first started doing the YouTube thing, um, I did a video and I didn't cover this up. And I, when I went to go activate my Windows key on a separate computer, yeah, somebody had taken it. So, I learned my lesson. Now, let's open this thing up. The biggest thing we're going for is just the memory. Um, Once again, I don't have the chargers for these, so I'm not like really worried about it or saving it. Let's see what memory we got. Four gig. Four gig. Save the battery. I know people are saying, oh, they're so cheap, this, that, and the other, but, I mean, if you don't have one and you have a pile of those on hand, why not? No drive, which is fine. 
This I'll actually save because I guess this is common for HP. This is their adapter for their drives. And I've seen a lot of these go bad in a couple of apps I go in, so that's worth saving. Um, I mean, I guess we could save the Wi-Fi card. Man, nah, I'm not going to save that. I got a ton, ton, ton of those. Other than that, Windows key, memory, the battery, nothing else to really save. I don't have the charger, so. And the A10, they're just, I, I don't, I don't mess with them. They're not, yeah. Nice, good looking laptop, though. But by the time you put in the charger and everything, I mean, you might break even. You might be lucky to get $100, but I think the charger would be 20 20 for that, so 40 Not really worth it. Maybe I'll just keep it around. Probably not. All right, so now that those are gone, on to the more interesting one, at least in my opinion. One thing about laptops is I like to snag them if they're just really cool looking. And um, I have an Alienware one coming, so stay tuned. That's a really cool laptop. But this one, yeah, kind of ugly. I mean, but I guess aesthetics was not a thing. So this is the Dell Precision M4500. I think these were released back in 2010. They usually cost about $1,500. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was like an i7-940XM, had a Quadro 1800M, I believe it was like a gig of memory. I know it was DDR3, they came with 8 gigs, I'm not sure if you were able to put 16 gigs in there, I don't know too much about that, but I mean, these things were hefty, pretty heavy duty. Definitely a powerhouse with ton of options, I mean, we got a DVD drive, this... Uh, I guess that's to pull that out. Pretty nice, yeah. Very simple. Got the Wi-Fi, 1394 USBs. I guess this has the extended battery, I would assume. Ethernet. A phone jack, maybe? Well, it says no. Well, this one didn't come with it. VGA. Uh, and no drive. Bummer. But it's fine. Even has SD card action. Still pretty cool. This one fortunately did come with the charger. So before we even stick in a drive, try to install Windows and do anything, let's see if it turns on. There we go, power. I hear the fans. Do we got video? Will we do anything? Fan turned off. Guess let's try that again. Here the CD drive. So I'm getting no video, but I'm getting a frantically flashing battery light. Sometimes with any laptop in general, removing the battery when they go bad eliminates a lot of issues. So let's delete on the battery. Uh, it's Dell, it's original. Rechargeable. Do we have a date on it? Nope, no date. And on the plus side, I did find the Windows 7 activation, so that's good. So now, will it work? Oop, I think it did something. CD drive is working, so we are getting power. We just got no video. Hmm. All right, let me think about this. I doubt this will work, but maybe it's giving us no video because it doesn't have a drive in there, so let's try to pop this in don't have the caddy so we're just gonna have to hope that we line it in which I did all right let's pop it back up maybe with the drive it'll come to life hmm nothing one of the reasons why I love and I don't upgrade this monitor it has HDMI and it has VGA 
So maybe the graphics card on this thing is fried. I think it was uh, Dell had some ones with the Core 2 Duos back in the day around that time frame that uh, the graphics card would just fry. I think I had that laptop somewhere. I'm not sure, but anyways, just kind of babbling on on that. Let's see if this works. It's still on. All right, let's turn it off. Let's go to VGA on my monitor. Well, bummer. So, um, no display, it's not coming to life. I mean, the fans turn on, but not sure exactly what's wrong with it. I'm just gonna open it up, just take a look. Maybe there's a smoking gun in there. If not, then it is what it is. But let's try seeing what's inside. All right, let's see how friendly this is to take apart. We got one screw over here, which I think I mostly got it out. Man, it's got like a spring. Not sure what it holds. Got a bunch of other screws over here, so we're just gonna start just taking every screw we can off. Probably could look it up and save a lot of time, but nothing's more for, fun than just, you know, recklessly and randomly taking things apart. Now we know this comes out like this. I got something apart. Got another screw here. Ah, there you go. Push that way. And this is what we got. And I tell you what, folks, they don't make stuff like this. I mean easy to take apart upgrade all that good stuff memory is right over here cpu you can upgrade the cpu i mean and then whatever that is encr i'm not going to misquote things but you know you can put something there whatever that is uh let's see maybe they tried to upgrade the memory and the memory is not compatible i've seen that happen a time or two four gigs This one's stuck. Four gigs. Yeah, this looks like what came with it on the factory. So eight gigs of memory. This stuff is pretty good. I mean, I can't tell you how many times people come in with laptops that, you know, still have DDR3. Do a quick refurbish and upgrade, you know, fresh operating system, SSD, a little memory. And, I mean, people still running strong holding on to them. So good stuff to keep. Now, just for the sake of curiosity... At this point, I'm not going to dive in and try to figure out what's wrong with it. I mean, it's a cool looking laptop. I already got what I wanted out of it. I guess we're just excavating. Yeah, I know the cringe factor, but I really think this thing is dead. This one has the upgradable CPU. I'm not sure if this version was maxed out, so. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, this is the i7-740N. So I think there was the 970 or the 910 was the other one. So you did have one more upgrade option with it. Um, other than that, there's really nothing else that I could see. Maybe the graphics card got fried or internal shorts. It's hard to say. And as old as it is, and really the value of it, I mean, it's not worth digging in. And I do have laptops that are cooler than this that actually uh, run for the purpose I need it as far as older hardware testing and all that stuff. So, But still, pretty cool laptop. Would have been nice if it would have worked, but it was free. These guys threw it out. They threw it out for a reason. Now we know why. So, all right, three laptops, junk. On a side note, I did find a power inverter. Or one of those adapter universal ones whatever you called it tried to fire these up off camera um they too don't even come to life this one doesn't even turn on and this one has like a complete short it turns on it turns off real quick so um yeah exactly uh electrical short maybe it was in a thunderstorm not sure but either way it's junk still got the memory on it and two activation keys i already checked and i've already used them and they were good so not a complete loss if you see these old laptops 
If they have a Windows 7 activation key, definitely try to snag them up. That's really the only use you can really get out of them unless you just want to use like a, you know, a cheap oversized Chromebook. But even the memory is pretty good. I got a lot of customers that come in that say, hey, um, can you upgrade my laptop? And it's usually like some type of Intel i3 third gen, an extra four gigs of memory, SSD, and easy money to be made. And I've done a couple of videos on that. So other than that, I'll get these things packed up to the recycling and yeah, properly dispose of them. And it's good to finally get these out of the garage because they've been sitting here for quite a while. So um, not your typical video, just kind of walk you through of what I do with this old type of hardware, repurpose it, some value of it, and then, you know, kind of hoping we could tinker around with this, but at least we got to take a look at this older laptop and uh, yeah, this stuff, golly. I kind of wish they still did it. So easy to just upgrade, work on, but hey, you know, they got to make money somehow. So comment down below, let me know your thoughts, concerns, criticisms. Uh, this old type of stuff, do you guys just throw it away, take it to recycling? Do you guys uh, salvage it, scrap it? I mean, what do you do with this stuff that does work? I mean, Linux, whatever. Definitely let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. And as always, we'll see what I come up with next.